When Pensacola students return from winter break, there won't be uniformed resource officers, a resource officers that is in schools. It's the result of an ongoing dispute between the township and the school board, and many are wondering how this will impact student safety. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Goldner is live in Pensacola tonight. He's got the latest. Brandon. Good evening. Pensalkin schools will still have armed security guards inside the buildings. The school system says that students will be just as safe as they were before, but Pensalkin's police chief says that will not be the case. When students return next year from winter break, they will no longer see uniformed school resource officers as the dispute continues between Pensacola schools and the township over a contract to pay for those officers. The township first announced the move on its Facebook page Tuesday. I'm angry at this. Pensacola Board of Education President Nick Perry argues the township's announcement creates unnecessary fear among parents. We're continually to defend our schools with the safety procedures that we have in place. And we're extremely proud of it. Those procedures include armed security guards the district already pays to be in its schools. Superintendent Dr. Ronnie Tarchichi says those guards are well trained ex police officers who patrol hallways and search students when they arrive to school. Students are safer than they've ever been. It's very safe in the schools, much safer than it's been in a long time. But Pensacola Police Chief Philip Olivo disagrees. Not as safe as they could be, right? There's a difference between an armed civilian and a police officer, between the training that our officers receive. Body armor, um, the equipment. Including radios, which he says officers can quickly use to radio backup in case of an emergency in a school. Whereas with armed security, they still need to call 911, and armed guards don't have the ability to make arrests. Something happens, we're going to be there, right? We're going to be there. But um, those are the people that are there until we show up. <laughs> Some parents we spoke to, like Takiya White, say they prefer having actual police officers in the schools. We do feel more secure and safe when the kids see them because they always talk to them outside and them seeing them out here, I think it makes the kids more safe too. Pentagon police say they'll still respond to any emergencies and do building checks at schools. We have full statements from both the school system and the township about this whole dispute online at cbsphiladelphia.com. Live in Pensacola, Brandon Goldner, CBS3 Eyewitness News.